What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with some more Don Machi. Today we're doing episodes 5 through 7. The first one is called Argo Vesta, the heroic slash of... Well, what is it? Because it's cut off in the thing. It's the heroic slash of Holy Flame. Very excited by that. A little nervous at the same time, especially with how... Well, and both, because we've gotten upgrades over time, but we're also in a very dangerous spot right now with no backup in sight and no light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully with the new, I forget what it's called, the new spell that Haruhime is about to cast. Hopefully maybe it can turn the tide. I don't know. I am very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell. Other than that, let's hop right on into it. Don Machi, season four, episode five, Argo Vesta. Let's do it. Argo Vesta, the heroic slash of Holy Flame. We get to see this new magic in action. Coco Noe. So far, the squad's putting in work. You love to see it. Oh, beloved snow. Oh, beloved crimson. Oh, beloved light. Ooh. Three. Four. How many tails are we getting? Five? The demon of nine within me? Kurama, Nine Tail Fox? What are we talking about? What is going on? You know, if you talk this long, it's got to be a spell. Oh, that's sick. Works in conjunction. Like, it's definitely a multiplication. It's an exponential boost to all of us. Five people get the level boost. Who are we choosing? I love the way they animated it. Okay, everyone in general is getting a boost. My boy Uka, my boy Well, they're feeling it. They're loving it. Obviously, Mikoto, the goat, she's already, she really didn't need it. You know, she's just, she's clean like that. It is most definitely exhausting. I mean, did you see how long she was doing that enchantment? That spell must be. Yeah. Imagine this in a team fight, like an ace up your. Thank you, Lily Ruka. You took the words literally out of my mouth. This is an ace up the hole that ought to be kept secret. Absolutely. Talk about a support though. Shout out my girl Haruhime. He collecting the up the magic crystals, the gems. I'm gonna munch on him for a quick little lunch. And of course it's Digivolving. Now it's the Moss Monster 2.0, of course. He looks significantly stronger and scarier. Even with the level boost. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Just one, that's disgusting, but also OP as shit. And who knows if it's gonna inf infect her with the same thing. Oh, I was not expecting to get over here, Scorpion style. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good, oh, thank the Lord. This thing is scary as shit. <laughs> same thing they got fucking Luvis and Chigusa. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I was assuming direct mouth. Like, I'm constantly jealous of them that they get to go adventuring and they get to live this world in this dungeon. That's that would be the life, you know. But then you got to look at this side and the dark side, and you're like, God, maybe, maybe my life ain't so bad. Cause this would be a horrible way to go out. It's starting to wear off. Some great healing. Thank you. Right, she has a lot of stress and pressure on her soldiers right now. They're gonna die anyway, they're gonna go out fighting. I respect it. Damn. <laughs> I honestly respect him for that. They're essentially meat shields, you know. But hey. A meat shield would help, you know, they would, like they said, they would already be dead at this point. Shouts out to them, I respect it. We are in a terrible situation right here. We need some sort of miracle. 
Oh. I agree as well. She doesn't want to have to do anything like this, but... Is it that time? Yeah, but Bell also would give up his life. It's it's such a hard, such a hard situation. I don't know what I would do if I was in Lily Ruka's shoes. If I'm being honest with you, you definitely want one person to survive, but I don't know if I could leave my homies, any squad behind. You know, that's exactly what I was saying. Bell would never do it though. You're right, he wouldn't fault you if you did, but he would never do it, so. Shouts out my girl Lily Ruka. I fuck with that choice heavy. That shit hit me. They're like, we're all going down, we're all going down together. Shouts out all of them. Oh, please. It's Master Bell! Talk about turning the sides. Oh. Time for some Argonaut. Jesus. It's like when you're in Mortal Kombat or Tekken, you knock him out of the ring and into another ring, you know? <laughs> Literally is what it looks like. <laughs> Shouts out my boy, Bill. <laughs> that was clean. Are we doing this right now? Round two? I guess we are. This music is so triumphant, Don Machi. It always has been. It's so good. Tell me this doesn't look like a goddamn perfect little arena to fight. I'm better see a Don Machi fighting gamer in the next Jump Force. It's better... The drop of the water is a signal to start. Love it. Oh, Bell's going in, huh? Okay, the monster's slightly on the defensive. Bell's going... Bell's going in! Ah. He just needed to break it in a little bit more. So now, he's settling right where he should be. Ooh! Ever since that moment, that was a clean-ass moment. Ooh! Ooh! Hell yeah. Asterius. This, this doesn't even compare to him. <laughs> Why is Bell going in so hard right now? Like, Bell, don't do him like this. Don't give me... Don't... Why are you doing him like this? We're talking full limbs off? Oh. The magic conductivity, like Welf was talking about. What are we doing here? That shit looks clean. Makes me feel like I'm playing a JRPG. I love every time he does one of his crazy spells, you hear like the church bells ringing, you know? Oh, I remember her saying that. That was episode one, right, of the season? Vesta. Okay. Argo Vesta. Isn't that the title of this? Oh, that was clean. It's it just and it lights everything back there on fire. Argo Vesta. That thing is. Sayanara Mossy Monster. Please, can these vines go away? I would love to see that. Oh, yes. I was actually worried that this... I thought this was going to be, like, the main enemy of this arc. Or, like, I guess this is a little smaller arc, but of this season. But no. That seems, fingers crossed, to be the end. Ah. 
talk about in episode one. Thankfully, I got two more to watch. All right. Rabbit's foot. Traditional meeting for all the gods. Okay, Donatus, that's what it's called. Okay. Oh, this is where we get... Wait, we're not going to keep Little Rookie? Absolute Shadow is sick. Egonesia! The goat. Ignis. Ignis, never cold. I like that, honestly. The ever popular. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Is that Freya? Oh my god, does she look as lovely as ever? Van. Vanadis Odor. Husband of Freya. <laughs> That's funny. What's that, Loki? Lois Aris. Trickster's toy? No. I know, that would make us. You're the trickster. And what would that be? Chestnut Cream. Maron Rabbit. Oh, Rabbit's Foot? Yeah, you stand up for your man. You tell him. That's hilarious. What is it? Rabbit's foot. That's what I was assuming. White rabbit's foot. Oh, good. I'm glad. I mean, we owe you guys too. You guys helped out. After just watching some Maiden Abyss uh, earlier today, yes, I firmly can agree with that sentiment. The Dion Kent? Oh, they have a family that is specializes in prosthetics? Yeah, you'll be in debt for sure with anything like Hephaestus, you know? That's cool. I like that. In the honor of the name, Louis. I love that. I love that Bell was so disrespected for how weak he was at the beginning, but he's earned his respect from so many people, you know? Like, it's not just rumors that's given the respect. He's earned it. He's shown the people. <laughs> Sounds out both of them feeling guilty. It's good, you know? Helps you improve as people. Get stronger. Hell yeah. We wouldn't have done it without we couldn't have done it without you. Uh oh, trouble's never good. We don't like to hear that. Lily's like, I need my conversation with him. Lily's like, you are not taking my man. So what is it? Is they're gonna get the discount because they got Bell? I owe you a favor. Oh, Black Goliath went in the safe zone. Oh yeah, I'll give you a discount one time. They're using Bell's. Hey, he's a plug. I thought it was like trouble, trouble. So I'm glad it's just this. You know, we had some despair the last. If we had some despair, so I'm glad we're having some happy times right now. You know. She was having those dreams. Shouts out to Uka and Chugusa for being amazing, and shouts out to Daphne and Cassandra as well. And now he's about to get taken again. <laughs> I feel her, honestly. About that, um, yeah, nothing. Oh, really? She just wanted to hear about what happened. Then the egg after the Igwazu. Oh, oh, I mean, 
There's no way you're just gonna get away with that. You just said Mari. Okay, I guess he's getting away with that. If only I could have a harem of women wanting to talk to me and be praised by me. One day. One day, you guys. Yeah, you never know. Wealth might show up. Look who called it. Wealth and Aisha. That's hilarious. Lily, you gotta jump in there during your time. You gotta wait any longer. Oh, that would be something that he would be interested to hear and that only you could tell him. I actually love music like this during like a little festival time. It feels like we're dancing around a fire, you know, eating some good food, drinking some mead. I just feel bad for if this is it, I feel bad for Lily Ruka. Cause she gets nothing. Look at her, she's frozen. Your official nickname. Your official alias. <laughs> I told you. You just gotta sneak in during your chance, girly. Yeah, you wanna take this to the... Oh, she has had enough. She has had enough. I love the look of the safe zone, though. The safe floor. I can see that. But you love. Facts. You, you love to see it when power doesn't change a person, you know? Kind of like Captain America. Like that person you are when you're weak. If that can retain. Ooh. It's a great combo. That is adorable. Even though she didn't get to have the convo she wants. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure she still likes this. He does bring luck and prosperity to those he cherishes and loves. Who's getting fucked up? Please spare me. Why is she down here doing this? <laughs> we gotta get used to Rabbit's Foot. They're not gonna call him Little Rookie anymore. Saw the culprit. The Gale Wind. There's only one person who that could be, the Gale Wind. That's a fire name, though. Yeah, I'm just curious why. You know, I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure we're going to get that. I have, yeah, I, there has. I'm, I'm curious. Very curious, to say the least. A great disaster cometh. For the embodiment of ruin. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, a Cassandra prophecy like this? It was very descriptive, very specific, very dark. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like the sound of this. Ryu's gonna be doing something like this? Like what? Cassandra, is it Ilian or Lion? The Dream Seer, the Premonition Haver. Oh, he dead, dead. Huh? 
He, I get it. He wants his revenge. Eighty million Valus bounty. An execution squad. They're going for it. You're down to mess with a level four and down to get some money. Oh yeah, people are willing. He is right, it was her. Yeah. There are it's already seeming a little suspicious, you know. Most definitely is related. Is he really lying? Really? I... Oh, I don't know. Oh, you know Bell. We're saving her. We're going to have a combo. I'm just worried about Cassandra's premonition. I mean, that's true. We would, would be an easy way to get close to her, possibly. Yeah, I mean, you get constant updates and leads and any info from the other ones, so other people in the squads, so that makes sense. The whole squad's coming. Come on, Cassandra, talk about it. Damn. In Star Wars, it's never good when someone says, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, damn. It's been a minute since we've been here. Okay, so we're we are okay. Let's make it a little more sense. Yeah, sure, hope not. Same thing she did with the first mission going down here in the first place. Oh, she does talk about it. It's just not believed. Yeah. Okay. I understand now. I was saying I wish she would say it earlier, but now I get it. Maybe Belle will believe her? But no, he obviously wants to go help his friend. If only you talked a little bit more about how specific the premonition was. Tell him you saw everyone's dead body. You possibly saw Ryu over a black dragon. Shouts out, Cassandra. Okay. If she can't change their fate... By changing their mind, she's going to try to change it on the way. Okay. I respect it. <laughs> He's the only level 4, I'm assuming. I mean, Aisha. Aisha's a, yeah, Aisha's level 4. I would be too if you only had... Sad premonitions, you know? <laughs> Another one of those vixens. Trying to lay claim. That's hilarious. Lily Ruka. So everyone up top's getting a current update about what's going on. It's uh shit's in the fan. I'll invoke calamity. Ooh, makes sense. I'm assuming it's that black dragon looking thing. A 
heard of Mammoth? What? Mammoth anything is not good. Surging white flames. Oh. Touche. Everyone else died except Bell. She's really being observant about her dream, and I respect it, you know? Especially when it's something that scary. Mr. Well. Mr. Crozo. Damn, these mammoths are scary. Ooh, good kill. Save. Good shit, Bell. I wish Miyok and Hestia would talk to them about her premonitions. Like, at least Daphne and say, hey, this is real, just so you know. So, start relying on it. And shouts out Cassandra, even though no one believes her sticking with it, you know? Good job, good work. Ryu's coming. She's down quick. She's already down in the Great Falls. Yeah, with the water right there, that definitely looks like the Great Falls. All right, we're going down to the 24th, the Great Falls, we're here. What shaking, what rumbling could that have been? That's quite the strategy to get Aisha to stay. Bell's the confirmation to it. She, she just slides away. うん。うん。yeah if you give them details that's a fair point so we have the part two of this next crazy journey after the moss monster it's going back down for ryu and with the calamity that scarf the goliath scarf looks sweet i can't lie uh so this next part I'm a, mm, damn i'm a little nervous well those were absolutely some episodes the way that we i didn't actually know the training was already there with bell and the iguazu the those those super fast like bird like things which actually gave him and then the explanation that lily ruka and wealth kind of gave where he was already his his mind and his body and his skill were in different areas and they just need to kind of balance out and stabilize so he's he's getting some really good progress going but this whole transition to now how it went from the moss the moss monster to now ryu and what's going on with her and this dark vengeance and path that she's going on like according to aspi i just i'm scared and i wasn't as scared up until cassandra's premonition and then like that's like well if you have the worst case scenario that everyone but your main character dies like okay maybe we, this is kind of getting you know so we're getting a little deep in there I have a feeling that this next episode and the one after that's gonna be real. It's gonna be crazy. I am very excited. I do like him. I do like Bell and Welf's alias, Ignis, and the Rabbit's Foot. Thoroughly enjoyed the teamwork and Haruhime's Kokonoe. Awesome, awesome. The animation, the grimoire, her spell, the, the enchantment, all that. 
thoroughly enjoy. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Um, check out that Patreon for early access. All that jazz. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.